Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna to show you how to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy S10 FE. There's a few ways to do this. One way is by using your palm and just swiping from left to right on the screen quickly, and it will take what's called a palm screenshot, just like this. There you go. Let me try it again, left to right, and make sure your palm drags across the screen like this. There you go, it will snap a screenshot. Now the other way is by holding on the power and the volume down button for one second, just like this. So power, volume down, you're gonna press and let it go, just like this. See that, let's try it again. Power, volume down, same time, press, let it go. And you'll see that little screen pop up in the left corner and that screen is what you'll use to make edits to the screenshot or you can always go to your gallery and the gallery here will create a folder for screenshots. So right here, if we just press on the menu here and go to albums, it will create a screenshot gallery. So now you can see all the screenshots in one place. Here you can always tap on it and then you can access all the editing tools if you want to, for example, crop it down and focus on a certain section, you can do that. Right here, you tap on the pencil first, and then you can access the editing options. Now, okay, let me show you this one more time. We swipe across the screen. If you tap on this button here, this will allow you to crop the screenshot right after you take it. So here I can drag from the corners. If I wanna shrink down the area for the screenshot, I can drag from the top here down, and then that will shrink down our screenshot, and then I can Tap on this pencil here if I want to write or highlight on the screen or make any other adjustments. There's an eraser here. And then I can tap this button to download the picture and this button to share it out when I'm finished. So that's how you take a screenshot. Now next, I wanna show you how to print that screenshot. So we're gonna to go to the gallery and we're gonna find the screenshot that we wanna print. And by the way, this works for all the pictures on your tablet, not just screenshots. So let's say I wanna print this screenshot right here. I'm gonna go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots and come down to print. And then from here, I can select my printer. Now it's important to note that you will need a wireless printer to make this work obviously. And you will need to make sure your tablet is connected to Wi-Fi. So make sure your Wi-Fi is on. You're gonna swipe down from the right here to access your Wi-Fi menu. Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on and it's connected. You'll know it's connected because here it'll say the name of the network that you're on. And there you go. Now my Epson is showing up on the network here and I'm just going to tap on that Epson. I'm using an Epson XP4200, super reliable printer, very inexpensive, and it's been working great for me. Now I can, once this button is lit up in yellow, that means that I can go ahead and print by just tapping that button. Now. We just went over how to print a picture or a screenshot. Next, I wanna show you how to print an email, and then I'll end the video with showing you how to print a website as well. So, hit the home button, and let's go to our Gmail. Okay, let's select an email to print. I'm gonna select this Flipboard email here. So, this is the email I wanna print. I'm gonna to go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots, come down to print. It's gonna give me the same exact menu. I'm gonna tap select a printer, select my Epson XP4200. Now, sometimes it will take just a few minutes for it to load the information, especially if it's hit printing multiple pages. Here's a little trick to make it load the pages faster. If you tap on the drop down arrow and go to save as PDF first, for some reason it auto loads all the pages. Then you can go back and switch it to the Epson which is, or whatever printer you have linked to it, and then you can hit print. So this, uh, for some reason, just makes all the other pages load quicker. The one thing you'll notice is that this email has 10 pages. So if there's a page you don't wanna print, you can simply uncheck it in the bottom right corner. So I don't wanna print this one, this one, this one, and this one. So now those are grayed out and those are not gonna print when I send it to the printer. So that's how you control what pages are print and which ones are not. You can also tap on copies right here to access additional menu options. So for example, you can add you know, multiple copies. 
You can change the paper size. You can print from color to black and white. You can change the orientation from portrait to landscape, print double-sided, or print in a range. So you have all these extra options to access. Now, lastly, let me show you how to print a web page. Let's open up Chrome. And right now we're on Amazon. And let's say I want to print this cool um, iPhone charging dock. I'm going to go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots. And what you'll notice is that there is no print button in Chrome. There's just one extra step you have to take before you get to that button. You're going to tap on the share button. It'll bring up this menu and then your print button is right here. Tap on print. It'll take us to the same menu. And again, it will take a minute to load the preview. Our little trick will work as well. Select the printer, go to save as PDF, and this should quickly load all the pages. And this Amazon site has 12 pages, so you'll definitely want to turn off a couple. And then we'll just switch it back to our Epson. Our button is lit up yellow, and that means that we are now ready to print. And that's it. So that was how to take a screenshot and how to print. And uh, I want to just, uh, I'll drop a link right here for the printer I'm using, which is the Epson XP4200. A very inexpensive printer, very reliable. If you're looking for a really nice wireless printer to go with your tablet, I definitely recommend this one. It's worked great for me. The uh, ink is, you know, not too expensive. And, um, you know, just I've had a good experience with this. So I'll link that on screen. And then I'll link a few other uh, printers as well in the description so you have some options in case you want a fancier Epson as well. If you got value out of this video, bump the like button down below. There's also a new feature called the hype button. And I'm asking you guys if you can hit the like button and hit the hype button if this video was helpful. When you hype the video, it's another way of basically saying, hey, this video helped me. I, you know, approve of it and send it to more people who need it. And it's an easy way to support the channel and make sure the video reaches more people. So I appreciate you doing those two things. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. And as always, have a good one.